time for more Gypsy Brides. Stealing of the bride tradition, which pretty much happens in every episode of Gypsy Brides we watch. <laughs> bride gets stolen by an ex-boyfriend or husband or cousin, cousin. or something. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what happens this time. We start off, we got the family out here, got the pig on the roast, straight up old school stick, just spinning it. The homies in their fedoras sitting around watching. This is a <laughs> bonding, family bonding right here. Jumping on the kids, jumping on the couch. Yeah, stop jumping on the couch. <laughs> Sorry. The dad had me came out here. <laughs> kids jumping on the, on the couch. Can't stand it. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. I believe you. I was so, so nervous. I had no idea what to expect. Goodness Not gracious. It's just they got the they got the saturation turned up so much in the shot. I was like, God, the the colors. <laughs> yeah. Those blue eyes and super red lips and yeah. Now I'm making you into a proper gypsy bride. She's putting bling in her hair. Garrett awaits his fate. All right, all right. We got like the, like the, <laughs> stay with me here. I feel like we got like the real gypsies going on, you know? Got like the, like, this is what I think whenever in my head and you like see like gypsies or travelers or whatever, it's, you know, like the, the rugs and stuff all over the place on the walls and yeah. yeah, you know, they're travelers, you know? So like somewhere they can, it can just be taken apart easily and they can travel and not just. A caravan. We had some that we watched before where they have like the um just the the, the caravans where like you know just the, oh, yeah, the mobile yeah. homes they take everywhere, yeah. Well like once. Every other time it's been like a double wide trailer or something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess those are mobile too, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You see them down the highway. It is called a mobile home. Everything was happening so quick and I didn't want to be disrespectful, so of course I was going along with everything. So were they they yeah, I don't know the context. They like go back, they go back home to the homeland. Okay. Go back to Romania to get married. And then his mom can't be there. Who's going to be there? Maybe he's got family. And he's a gorger, so. Oh, They're actually really right. nice to, to him right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick. Yeah. Actually, I didn't pick that. I didn't put piece that together. You're usually like, ah, oh, my dang, man, a, a gorger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Get Jesus back here watching him. <laughs> Dad's got his fedora on sideways. Milady. It was pretty awkward, you know, to have some lady I just met the other day washing my feet. I didn't know what to think of it. You know what else is awkward? When you go to church and they want to practice the feet washing. I've done that, that a couple of times. When I, really? You know, yeah. Have you, you never done, done it? Done? No. Yeah. No, yeah. Never. Yeah. They like, yeah. They, I've got actually two of the, like, well, growing up, I went to church all the time. Right. And so yeah. twice, twice at one church. And then when we started eventually the pastors changed where we started going to another church and a third time. So I've been through it three times, like getting my feet washed and washing dude's feet. And uh, yeah, it's awkward every single time. <laughs> like it's supposed to have some d deeper meaning of like Jesus washing, washing uh, their feet. Do they like look up at you and smile while they're like washing your feet? Because I figure like that'd be really, really weird to me. I don't know why. Yeah, like, give me a wink. Hey, like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with them up? toes. <laughs> get between them toes. <laughs> It's supposed to be like a practice of like humility, I guess. It's, like, it's basically like Jesus shouldn't be doing it. He shouldn't be the one washing feet and everything, but he did. And so we're going to wash you know, feet and humble ourselves, I guess. But if you really want to be humbled now, you just, man, like go clean toilets, dude. Like that's. <laughs> if you want to be humbled now, just like put a video up on TikTok. Those young kids will get you. <laughs> get roasted. <laughs> they go to the, the TikTok comments and like every insecurity you got, they point it out. And you're like, ah, God, you're so insightful. Oh my God. Gypsy wedding dress. So, so well, that's not a bling blinged out wedding dress. What is that? Oh, no. well, these are these are Romneys. And what is oh boy, Dane? Oh, I know. God. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, so British. This is. <laughs> They even in Britain. <laughs> these, are, these are some very lovely people. They don't deserve that, mm. but I just couldn't help but just notice that that frame was, mm. that one was wild. Anyway, that's a beautiful dress they made, a traditional dress. She had kept this beautiful dress, wow. hoping that this day would come. Whoa. Ooh, look at that, this looks nice. That is pretty tight, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, what is this, Where, where's the, where's the, Where's like Stone Cold Mom and her and her F one fifty pulling up, you know, <laughs> yeah. wanting to fight everyone? Who's and slinging? Yeah, who's bringing the beer? I don't get this. <laughs> <laughs> Are they marrying a cousin or something? This is not. This is not <laughs> typical Gypsy brides. We're gonna have to stick to Romney. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get back to the Americanized version. Yeah. Look at that. Best 
man ever, 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 Garrett. Yes. Garrett's the best man ever, too. Yes. Not okay. even a gypsy. Let's go. They got all the glassware over here and some bread. <laughs> A oh, can dude. of WD forty. They got everything <laughs> yeah, you need. Yeah, why is there WD forty right there? Yeah. Yeah, they got everything you need in one spot. <laughs> Probably to soften the bread up. <laughs> okay. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of almost like a, a America versus other places cake thing right now. It's like America white bread is basically like cake. You go to like anywhere else and like have bread, and you're like, ah, oh, geez, why is it so hard? <laughs> Crap, I roof my mouth. Good Lord. Uh, Ain't no joke. You go have your have your white American bread and you're like, oh, fluffy. And, mm. Mm. and it stays good for two weeks somehow. I don't, uh. Feet cleansed. But they, no, they add a bunch of sound effects to that. Make a bunch of. You know, they're just hugging, but they're like. They're just like all these. They're all just in there smooching, just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, three way kiss so hot. <laughs> Great grandfather's one of those part of our culture. Thank you. I mean, shoot, yeah. You know, like I said, like the usual show we watch on this, he already fits in the culture. I thought he'd get married like that. Right. Double chains, tank top, and everything. Be a little more drunk, and it'd be perfect. <laughs> they give you this dress shirt, but it's not like a regular dress shirt. It's like really. Baggy around the arms. I felt it's a pirate like shirt. A clown in it. I feel like a clown. It's a pirate shirt. Yeah. It's also I don't know. I, I appreciate this stuff to where like I got we got such a contrast from what we usually watch on here. But it's like they got that folded up in a closet somewhere. He just sits there until someone gets married. You know? Yeah. The, yeah. They only break it out for that, and they got it. And it's like oh the oh the grandkids are getting married. Here's the shirt. You know your great your great granddad wore this. We still take care of it. And now you, know, you can't go buy yourself like a new suit, a new you know five thousand dollar. <laughs> wedding or yeah, say five thousand dollars wedding dress and you know pay the venue double the yeah. price to do everything yeah weddings are expensive they are expensive dude and i've yeah. i've always had this ever since a long time ago yeah i don't, I don't even remember i think it was like maybe an aunt i don't remember what it was but anyways, go, go, they're going through prices of like um getting married and then uh talking about how much it costs to rent, how much it costs to cater, how much it costs to have a DJ, how much like everything costs. And it's all so expensive because it's kind of it's almost predatory of like, oh, it's your special day. So you don't want anything to go wrong. You better pay some extra, you know, right, right, you right. don't want to cheap out. Same thing for like kind of like baby clothes. The baby will wear the clothes for like a month and grow out of them. But like the little <laughs> pair of shoes is like twice the price of like, you know, the regular yeah. pair of shoes. And so I guess like it's like the whole capital consumerism thing, but you go into like the like old traditions of different places and even like people in, like people in America, you know, my great grandparents had stuff uh, that they want to hand down, but they even like the kids would be like, eh, I don't want that. Throw it away. I'll get some new stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's just refreshing to me again to, to see it. I like it. this episode is just too wholesome so far. What, who's getting to do to a fight? Right. Yeah. That boy's the gypsy chief. All right. Oh, gee. He's in charge. Uncle Tio. He's one of us. There you go. Boy, and they got people that showed up. They got the whole community here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there they are. There's the guys I've been looking for. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> they went and shopped a buckle. They're ready. <laughs> Dude's wearing a Schmedium shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> he just got the medium on. Oh, she's got the championship belt right there. She's the champ. Did you see that? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Only Stone Cold Mom had seen that outfit. Yeah, that's why nobody's fighting because the champ's here. They know that's messed up. <laughs> that's true. It's time to head to the church. Gypsy style. I was, you know, shocked. Hey, you got right up there, the, the horse. Yeah. Okay. Came out. Everyone's, everyone's happy and celebrating. He's like, whoa. Usually you tell someone you're getting married, they go, oh, bro, your life's over, man. You know, one chick for the rest of your life. Now, that guy. <laughs> right. It's like, yes, please. I would like just. And you know, he's the one the organizing the, the, the freaking bachelor party, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Always. Like, <laughs> well, I got you like, I got like the hottest stripper coming today. Like, oh, thank you. All right. Great. I appreciate that, like the whole like. What, like the one person for the rest of your life kind of thing. I think that's freaking, that's great and super romantic. Yeah, really because is. like, so like no stress, you know, you, you get along. I mean, you, every marriage has problems, but you work through them and then you, you grow as long as you're like, you know, <laughs> decent people. And uh, I don't know, it's just, you don't have to like, you're not sitting on your phone, like trying to like, oh man, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling, 
I'm feeling weak right now. Let me say some stuff to someone that I probably wouldn't, shouldn't say on the internet or whatever and <laughs> get in trouble that. or, you know, <laughs> you know all, all that, all that crap. You know, just, then you got some kids and then, you know, you get to watch them grow up and sure, like you can't you do the same things you want. Like, sure, maybe, maybe they get on your nerves and you have less money, whatever. But you know, then you get to like feel, feel good about them enjoying things and, and then growing up. I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like yeah. the whole traditional family thing. It's, it's nice. And luckily, Mary does too. It's something special. Literally everyone in the village was there and they were all cheering for me. I felt like this like <laughs> beautiful gypsy queen coming out and like meeting her people. Okay, chill out a little bit there. Come on now. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Grovel at my feet. <laughs> yeah, they, they did this for your, your, your fiancé when he came out, too. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and he's a gorger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you cannot get a more authentic gypsy wedding than this. She's really hyping it up, though, yeah. Oh, they're getting married out here in the, by the graveyard? All right, oh, I mean, it's the church, you know, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside the church. And Man, another schmedium. I love them. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, that shirt is tight. <laughs> in, Literally. In two ways. <laughs> My That's father it. walks over and he walks me down the stairs and I felt safe. I had my dad on my arm and he. Oh, Look man. Look at that Bible, boy. Yeah, boy. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Dude, the Catholic churches. Hmm. They are blinged out. And maybe it's because of the Crusades, you know, the, the, the medieval times and the wealth of the wealth of the church. But I mean, even uh, like like here in Australia, like extended family is us Catholic. So they have christenings like a new baby is born. They got to go christen. So they like, basically like dip the baby in water. Yeah. And the, those they boy, <laughs> it is, I guess, gaudy is the word. Bougie. That stuff is like, <laughs> man, there's gold. There's like these big. Freaking fancy paintings on the wall. Even like the small, like uh, I've been to two, like a couple, and there's even like the small churches. They're they're blinged out as well. The big ones are super fancy, but the yeah, I don't know, man. Church got that money. You get that tithe in that church. COVID, COVID nineteen. Oh, oh God. Andrada came in and I saw her. You know, I was just so shocked. I'm gonna show that dad borrow a t-shirt. He's out here in his <laughs> out here in a regular old white t-shirt. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, I got there to sing the song. Yep, oh, this is different ones. They kind of sound like a like a monk chant. It's like no, the body. I don't mean this guy in particular. Like whatever language he's speaking, I remember like usually like every time I've heard it, it's been in another language. Just some Latin or, or whatever. It was really really beautiful, but I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> Hey, he's just happy to be here, man. <laughs> I didn't understand a single word he was saying. He was giving us blessings with smoke. <laughs> he's out here speaking another language. He's freaking like hitting the vape. <laughs> he's smoking them out, baby. Hot boxing, everybody. Ceremony over. Time to celebrate outside. Hooray! They did it. No fights. Okay. But when she gets stolen, though, because that's the title. Stealing of the bride. Oh, yeah. Cousin about to Intr show up. Yeah, well, that's that's why I like I picked this video to watch today because I read the title and it has like it has like two point four million views, right? I was like, this has got to be wild, right? And so far, it's just wholesome goodness, which Super I'm wholesome. okay with too. Maybe maybe eventually someone grabs her and runs off with her, but if it's tradition, sure. Oh, if they're sticking with tradition, like all the traditions, hmm. You think they're gonna have like the um back in the way back in the day, you had to have witnesses. You, you consummate your marriage, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> So they had to make sure, you know, <laughs> go in there and, uh, yeah, watch you get it on. Yeah, you guys mm. come and watch. Mm. Such a weird, that's such a weird thing. That, that but, happened? That was, that was real? Yeah, yeah. Let me, here, let me look it up. So yeah, you got your, it's called the, the, the bedding ceremony, right? Oh, it refers to the yeah. wedding customs of putting the newlywed couple together in a marital bed in front of numerous witnesses, usually family, friends, and neighbors, thereby completing the marriage. First, the rituals established the consummation of the marriage, either by actually witnessing the couple's first sexual intercourse are far more often symbolically by leaving before consummation. Um, but yeah, so at least put them in the bed, right? Uh, but, you know, it says here, like, witnessing as well. And then, like... call that the bedding ceremony. The bedding, yeah, I gotta play. They're Pretty married. Sure put, them, put them in the bed. Well, now it's called, like, ditty parties. 
<laughs> oh, dude. It, like, historically, you can like that works out, too, because even like the like, tyrannical kings, like getting their first go and all that. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. People getting together and having kids is like a, a much bigger deal than it is now. Right. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Like, you got to make sure that they're actually getting married and they're They're doing their thing, doing their duty, having them babies. Uh oh, you can kidnap. I thought we were going back to the house to celebrate. And you no, know, I looked back and these guys are stealing my wife. <laughs> oh, they're stealing her. <laughs> She's literally being kidnapped right now. She's being kidnapped everybody. right now. There she goes. Oh, gosh. I don't know what's happening. I had <laughs> Look at the accident up to you. Oh my gosh, what's happening? We started going to another place of the village. I had no idea where. <laughs> uh, somebody screaming? It's her squealing, I guess. Like she has no idea what's going on. I'll just start running with this strange man, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, save First me. First initial instinct for me is to get up and go save my wife. <laughs> I gotta save her. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Go save her. That's mine. <laughs> That's Luckily, mine. why he's chasing that. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. Hey, bro, you got uh, the wrong one. Mine. I realized, you know, this was part of the tradition, and I had to bargain for it. Oh, now you gotta go. Yeah, I gotta bargain for it. Golly. So I had to empty out my pocket to get her back. Now that seems like a real gypsy thing right there. <laughs> what you got yeah, your pockets, what you got bro? your pockets, homie? Weird they had all that money in his pocket. Like he just he just <laughs> he just put these clothes on earlier today, like first time ever. <laughs> Luckily, you think grandpa for this guy. Uncle Teal put it back, put the money in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he put some money in there. Yes, for later when he got to buy a broad back, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's what he did. Mercy. What you Mercy. Now? <laughs> Let me hug you I and now you were... a, lot, a lot of a lot of hugging and appreciation going on for the man who just robbed you. Right, right. <laughs> oh, you saved me. Oh, you those saved gypsies. me, you're right. This tradition is called Curse those gypsies. <laughs> 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 oh, he's up to no good. Uh, <laughs> I was kinda hoping they'd be like have her all over to the shoulder, like running around with her. That'd been that'd been great. The party <laughs> <laughs> of course they got the of course they got the husky guy here dancing by the hot dogs <laughs> he's like yeah boy and I had, between about everybody in this in this village they can have a whole set of teeth I think <laughs> they kept on wanting to dance with me uh oh uh oh Dane that's the one no. there's the cousin oh. there he is <laughs> keeping an eye on him they all, they, they, all, they, they all know cousin Tony out here he's got his shirt on inside out he's <laughs> Got his cool wolf tattoo, howling at the moon. It was a crazy party out there. Look at that. Uh, wholesome. Very wholesome. Amazing. Hmm. Huh. The first gypsy wedding that didn't make me want to puke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Crazy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. So uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Say so toast to my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, they're stealing her. <laughs> She's literally being kidnapped right now in front of everybody. Oh, gosh.